Hello, this is Bern, and if you feel like there's something wrong with you because you haven't been able to find your ideal soulmate, well, on today's episode, I'm going to demystify that process so that you understand why there's nothing wrong with you, number one. Number two, what you can do about it if you really want to create the love that you want. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your greatlifetv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need for manipulation or crazy techniques of any kind. Now, if you've ever told yourself, There's, there has to be something wrong with me because I go on a couple of dates and nothing else happens and the guys disappear, or because all my friends have gotten married and I'm the one staying single, because my younger sister's already getting married and, and, and I've still nowhere to be found on that area, because if you feel that way, if you felt the pain of your Aunt Mary telling you in front of everyone, sweetie, why are you still single? And you want to like punch someone in the face, maybe not her, but someone <laughs> in that moment, then typically you, your vision of the world, your blueprint of love is one that says love should be natural. Love is the most natural thing in the world Therefore, if love is the most natural thing in the world and I'm not getting it, well, there's something wrong with me, right? Well, here's why that premise is complete and utter bullshit. Let me dissect it into steps. First, because anything in life that is worth knowing requires a certain study and a certain discipline. Think about it in your own way. Imagine you went from kindergarten to 12th grade. You've By, by the time you leave 12th grade, you've taken approximately 17,000 hours of schooling. It's education, some of it great, some of it not great, but 17,000 hours will give you at least some understanding of certain topics. Now, if you go to college, that's an extra maybe 6,000 hours that you go through, not even counting the stuff you do outside college. So that's a lot of hours that you've dedicated to learn certain principles, math, arithmetic, finance maybe, marketing, uh, reading, writing, and on all those hours, the vast majority of human beings, if not the great, great, great majority of human beings have not taken a single hour on how to attract your ideal partner and how to sustain a relationship that is arguably going to be the most important decision you make in your life. Zero education on that. And you say, well, Bern, I, I get that. I didn't study that, but it should be natural. So here, let me, this, let me give you the difference. There's a difference between the feeling of love, which is the most natural thing in the world. You fell in love the first time with Johnny, the guy who uh, plucked out the flower from <laughs> your uh, own backyard and gave it to you in second grade, right? So that, 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 that's normal, that's common, and that is the very, very natural, the feeling of love. Now, there's something different than the feeling of love, which is called the skill of love. The skill of love is what actually makes it stick, what makes it sustain, what be, makes it a reality for years and years and years. So if you, if you have the natural thing, which is the feeling of love, but you don't have the skill of love, then you're going to suffer through relationships for the most part. Now, you're going to be saying now, well, but I see some people around me that are in relationships and, and they also haven't studied the skill of love. Yeah, but you also don't have any real idea because you're not standing in that person's footsteps as to how great or how painful that relationship is. It's like you telling me, well, I saw a movie and these people were in Mars. No, they weren't in Mars. They were on a set that looked like Mars. Much like your friends who you think are so happy in the relationships are suffering sometimes in ways that they're not telling you and are going through pain in ways you're not recognizing and might get divorced next year even though things are rosy right now because they never learned what it takes. So at the first sign of big problem, they weren't able to sustain it and they ended up in divorce. So it, because there's so much pain around relationships, it behooves you to do it differently. If you already find yourself in a place where you haven't been able to create the relationship you want, you might as well say, I'm going to do it right. And what is doing it right? Doing it right is getting the education you need, is reading books. It's for many of you, coaching. It's for many of you, training that allows you to understand how to attract, how to create, how to sustain, how to grow 
a relationship in such a way that you don't have to be a statistic like most human beings around you who naturally found love and naturally will lose it. Because there's nothing natural about living with someone for 50 plus years. It's never happened in human history. Think about it. Beginning of 1900, men and women died at 40 years of age, roughly 37 years of age. So lifelong of being with someone from the beginning of freaking time till then was maybe 10 years. Now you have the possibility of living 60, 70 years with someone. The skills required to sustain and grow where you're not feeling dead inside or becoming a roommate of someone for that length of time, it requires way more than most people give it credit for. And there's no shame in you knowing that there's a next step required for you to have the depth and the longevity of relationship you want versus the mediocrity and the fleeting sense of most relationships out there. So hope you recognize through watching this that there's nothing wrong with you. You just haven't learned what you need to learn to make a relationship last and, and, and to stand the test of time. Hope this is helpful for you. If you do find it helpful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and you can click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes as they come out. Number three, and most important of all, if you want to understand one more step into how you can create the relationship you want, on the first link on the description of this video, you'll find a way for you to sign up and click on the link, enter your name and email, and be taken to a free masterclass that I put together to share with you some principles that you need to learn to create a relationship and attract the kind of love you want. Now, for many of you, all the videos in the world will not do it. You can watch lots of videos, read lots of books. Some of you are gonna need hand-holding, specific accountability, and customized support, and a game plan that actually works. If you find yourself with the awareness that says, like, I love the videos, but I need some actual hand-holding the process, because I don't wanna spend the next seven years of my life attempting to rediscover fire when this thing was discovered millennia ago, then click on the second link in the description of this video and you'll find a way to connect with me. Submit an application and let's find out if we're a fit to work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me, my dear. As always, I challenge you to make, uh, live an amazing life, a full life, a conscious life, and to un and stop telling yourself that there's something wrong with you. If you feel there's something wrong with you, because you haven't learned what it takes, learn what it takes.